Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, everybody. I know, I know we're all super excited to, uh, to be here this afternoon, and I can't think of a better way to close Hopper Day 1 than getting hands-on with tech. So give yourselves a round of applause to making it to 4.30. We're super excited to have a completely full room to get this session underway. So a few things, bits of housekeeping. I'm sure you've heard it before today, but phone's on silent. And uh, if there is an emergency, the exit is the way that you came in. Please exit with grace and dignity if that arises. My name is Alicia Brown and I'm from CSIRO's Data61. We're one of the founding partners that brought Hopper um, down under and we're super stoked to have this many women and also our women champions in the men in the room here to uh, really celebrate the diversity in tech. Um, this afternoon's workshop, we're going to learn how to get hands-on with near-field comms in IoT. I've got a stellar group um, over to my left. I'm going to name off three of them and I'm going to get their team leader to come up and kind of talk about what they're doing today. So our hosts are going to be Venus Azadi from Red Hat, Masa Salehi from Monash University and Fatima Jalali from IBM. Please all give them a warm welcome. Hi everyone, um, my name is uh, Fatima. I'm a research scientist uh, with IBM Research in Melbourne. Um, and very happy to be here and happy to all of you here. Um, um, myself and a group of very talented female technologies are running this workshop for you. Uh, let me introduce the crew. We have Venus from Red Hat, Masa from Monash University, Hurie from Monash University, and Manisha from IBM Research and uh, the University of Melbourne. So, and if you are wondering how uh, can we got together and we're running this workshop. We all volunteers for IEEE Women in Engineering and uh, Victoria section. And we run multiple um, and different events uh, to encourage female in programming, IT and uh, engineering. And um, uh, what uh, we are going to um, present and to do today is um, um, NFC. So, and uh, at the beginning, I will give you like a brief introduction of what NFC is and explain the technology uh, quickly, very quickly uh, behind it. And then Venus is going to show you a few demo of NFC tags. And then after that, all of us should work together and program all those hardwares that you have uh, uh, in your um, tables, on your tables, and also uh, activate the NFC tags. All right, let, let us start. Uh, do you know what NFC stands for? Anyone knows? Near yeah, near field communication, exactly. And as the name suggests, it refers to short range wireless communication. Let's say like a few centimeters. Uh, I'm sure most of you are aware of this technology and you have used this technology for like um, sharing file and photos by, uh, with your friends through uh, mobiles, laptops, when you do payment, or uh, we use uh, NFC technology. And in the NFC world, uh, we use two types of devices. We use active devices and also passive devices. Active devices like, sorry, active devices like mobile phones or the payment uh, um, payment um, like bases that they have external powers, they have batteries. But we also have tags, NFC tags, passive devices, that they don't have batteries, they don't have external um, battery uh, and ex external power sources. Um, and, um, and also you have some of the tags uh, on your table uh, that uh, they don't have any um, source of power. So uh, because of the, this technology, as I mentioned, we are able to do uh, the um, mobile payments, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay. We use different types of cards in transportation, uh, when we go to gym, when we go to work, in different places, even uh, in healthcare, in hospitals, they started to use NFC, record uh, patient um, like history or even like simple things like names and um, dates and this kind of things that helps doctors and uh, nurses to get information quickly. So we all using NFC and it's getting more and more popular. But have you ever thought, for example, how exactly it works? Like we have the card, 
the card doesn't have any battery and anything. How exactly it sends information from the card to the uh, reader or how we write on it? I mean, what is inside the card? What is inside the, the tags? So that's the thing that we want to discuss here and also then quickly uh, do a hands-on um, program, do the hands-on experiment and uh, do the programming. So let me quickly, very quickly explain how exactly it works. As I mentioned, in NFC world, we need at least one active device. For example, over there, imagine it's an active device, and one passive. So <clears throat> active device like, um, as I said, mobile phone. And um, the way that it works, uh, both devices, they have antennas. For example, if you look at the boards that you have, uh, you, you will see those loops and um, even in the passive devices or even in the card, th there are an antennas, there are um, like um, ra for, ra for um, uh, generating radio frequency. And then in both we have antennas. And the way that it works, active devices, they start to generate radio uh, waves. And uh, for example, for NFC, we use 13.56 megahertz and then these wa the radio waves um, uh, get uh, coupled with the uh, antenna that we have in the passive devices. And then it activates the simple circuit that we have, for example, inside the card or inside the tag that we have, and then um, generates voltage here. For example, let me show you that quickly what, what we are going to do. So here we have these boards here, which is uh, connected to uh, Arduinos, um, and then we're going to program this uh, um, board, and this board will generate radio fre frequency. And then we have like uh, some tags, for example, the nail tags that we, I have on my nails, and then because it generates uh, power, it just turn on. I mean, it's very, very simple uh, scenario. Just turn on the, it doesn't have like LEDs, they don't have battery or they don't have anything, but just turn on the, the lights. But this is a very, very simple one, and after that, uh, it's more than that. Um, after that, uh, we have power running here, and then we ha if we have like LEDs, we don't, we don't store anything here. But if we have a card, for example, the card is here. If we have the card, we store data here. Now the, the card has power, and then uh, the data wants to go from card to the active device. So the things that happen, the uh, sorry, the other one. The things that happen uh, by um, like uh, activating the circuit here, it generates local um, waves uh, in uh, eight uh, four eight kilohertz, and then through these internal waves, it transmits the data stored in this card to the uh, active, uh, NFC active device. So then we're going to read the data uh, in the card, and then we're going to program the card from reader to here. I mean, um, th this is the three scenarios that we're going to quickly do, uh, all of us together. But just wanted to, to mention that it's more than that. Like, uh, there are many, um, when you search for NFC, uh, there are many applications, like mobile applications. You can um, quickly use your Android phone and then um, have a, um, a mobile app and then uh, quickly program those um, uh, stickers. For example, Venus uh, programmed uh, some of those stickers and she's going to show you how cool are the tags and what uh, she can do with the tags. Yeah, I mean. Sure. So I'll hand it over to yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, I would like to show, first of all, this is my phone. This is my Android phone. I in enabled the NFC part of it, so it's going to be the active device. And I have some nails, like here. You can see, you don't see the, the tags behind it. Yes, that's going to be cool. Um, which this one, this nail, I program it in a way that it will open the YouTube, like, like the predefined YouTube. And this nail, it will call uh, my um, um, colleague Manisha. Manisha. So let's try it. Just want to show you how cool is that. Finger cross. Well. Yes. <laughs> it's a live demo. And uh, yeah, so the way that I program the tag is based on the Android uh, called it. It's an it's a application called NFC tool. You're going to do it on your um, hands out. All right. So I just unlock my phone. It's, and I just, this is my nail. 
Oh, wait. Let's see if it's calling your phone or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. And just quickly show you the other one that this is. Uh, the other name. I, <laughs> sorry. This is the. And it opens the YouTube. So you can, it's uh, like, yeah, you can imagine. Yeah. You can imagine doing everything like just it's beyond like the sky is the limit and um, you, you're going to have all these instructions on your hands out uh, and we're going to do it now, right? Yeah, yeah. But we're going to start with the um, programming the Arduino and the board first. Let's focus because it's just one hour. Normally we run it just one day or half a day workshop, but because, because of the time, it's just one hour. Let's focus on um, the Arduino programming and see if we can light up those uh, LED nails and yeah. Um, so just in your hands out, uh, if you can go on this like page number three, I is think it? So. Yeah. yeah, this page. This page. If you find this page, then um, we, we will walk around and help you and tell you what to do. Yeah. So if you have any question, just um, please uh, ask us with people with these sticky notes. We are like uh, we will answer all your questions. Hello again. Hi. Can I just have your attention for? Hello. Just wanted be, before finishing that. I just wanted to give you a few ref references. If you want to buy the boards, we bought it from Other Fruit website. You can go to Other Fruit website, and there are other like local um, uh, website that you can buy the NFC tags and also the NFC boards to program them. Um, and uh, also, if you search for IEEE Women in Engineering Victoria section, you can uh, find uh, or contact, and if you have any question, you can uh, send email to us. Um, and also, um, just, uh, just a, a very few, uh, like, a quick uh, summary. We just wanted to uh, explain how those, those NFC tags work, and now when you touch the card, you know what's happening, you know there's an antenna inside the card, and like, uh, there, there are radio uh, frequencies to power up the card, and how the exchange information is happening in NFC board, and uh, also to show you how easy and how fun is that to work with those uh, small devices. It can be used in different uh, uh, IoT applications. If you have time, you can discuss like scenarios that would make sense to use NFC uh, in different IoT applications. And that's all.